View item conversion action can play a really vital role in your Google Ads dynamic marketing because it tells your ads manager that which kind of products are being viewed on your Shopify store. So in this video, we are going to see how you can actually write a data layer script that will help your Google Tag Manager container understand what kind of items are being viewed on your Shopify store. Then we are also going to see how you can actually configure the tags on Google Tag Manager that will successfully track these events on your Google Ads account. By the end of this video, you will understand how we are going to use this Google Ads conversion action that we just created for view item for your specific campaigns. But before starting that, we need to make sure that our Google Tag Manager container is successfully firing on our Shopify store. So we need to do a few things. We need to make sure that we have the head and body tracking scripts from the Google Tag Manager web container properly firing on the Shopify store. So let's just do this first before we jump into the video. So on your Google Tag Manager container, you can click on your container ID and this will show you all the head and body tracking script that you need. So let's just copy the head script and go back to your Shopify store. On your Shopify store, you might have an option for online store and under online store, you, it will redirect you to the theme section automatically. On the theme section of your Shopify store, you have to click on the action menu and then click on edit code. And this will take you to the back end of your website where you can make any kind of changes to your store. So we are going to locate the head tag and we are going to paste the Google Tag Manager head snippet right below it. Now we are going to do the same thing for the body tag. So let's just go back to the Google Tag Manager container to get the body script. And on our Shopify store, we are going to look for the opening body tag. I'm just going to do a control F to search and then search for the opening body tag. For me, it's on line 294. So I'm just going to create some space underneath it and paste the code. Everything looks perfect. So let's just hit format liquid and save the file. Now let's just quickly verify if our Google Tag Manager container is actually firing properly on our Shopify store. So we can head over back to the Google Tag Manager container and click the preview button which is on the top right corner and then it will connect a temporary debug window with our Shopify store. By using this temporary debug window, we can actually see what kind of tags and triggers are firing on our Shopify store. However, since we have not configured anything yet, so there is nothing firing. However, we can still see that the tag has been connected successfully. And if you have this Google Tag Legacy Assistant window, you can see that we have the Google Tag Manager container firing properly on the website. Perfect. So now we can actually start the video and write the data layer script that we need for the view item event on our Shopify store. If you will head over to the description of the video, you will find a blog post where you can find the scripts that you need for the head and all the view item scripts. Perfect. So we can copy this code and go to our Shopify store to add these scripts in our Shopify store. So before adding the scripts, let's just make sure everything is clean. So let's just create some snippets that we are going to use. We need one snippet for head data layer. So let's just create that. Now we need to create another snippet for the data layer product section. So let's create that data layer hyphen product. Perfect. Now you can go back to the website to copy the scripts that we have. So let's just paste the product snippet first and save the page. Now we can do the same thing for the head and the theme file. Let's get the head code and paste it back on the website. Let's hit save. And now we need to do the last thing for the theme file. We can also copy the theme code from this theme data layer code. On our Shopify store, we are going to find the body opening tag. And right below the Google Tag Manager web container, we are going to paste this code. Let's hit format liquid and save the file. Now we need to make sure that this code is properly firing on the website. So we can go to any of the product pages and we can verify this information. So on your Shopify store, you can go to any of the product pages and hit refresh. And on your debug window, you might see this custom view item event and this custom view item event has all the details that you need for the advanced e-commerce events, such as item ID, name, currency, category, and all the other good stuff. Since we have the view item script working on our Shopify store now, so we can head over to Google Tag Manager container and Google Ads account to properly configure the conversion action. So first we need to go back to our Google Ads account to create a conversion action. You can navigate to goals, conversions, and then summary. And from the same page, you can create new conversion action. Since this view item event has not been configured before on our Google Ads account, so let's create a new conversion action. Once you click on the new conversion action, it will take you to a new page where you have the option to import this conversion through Google Ads account if you have already configured that using the previous video. Otherwise, you can create a separate conversion action. Since we are using the web container and Google Ads account, we are going to do the web events. Let's just paste the URL of our website so that the Google Ads can check if we have the G tag integration on our website. Perfect. Since we don't want the event to fire on the page views, we want to fire a custom event based on the data link. So let's create a manual action. In this manual action, we are going to select the categories that is other since the view item event does not have a category. So let's select other and we can name it as view item. I usually like to follow the naming convention of GA4. So you can also go with view underscore item. 
And since this is going to have a value based on each product item that has been viewed, it is going to use a different value for each conversion. And if the value is not present, the value will be one. Since I'm using a PTR currency, therefore it is representing PTR. I want it to count all the conversions, but this is completely up to you how many times you want to count it. You can set it to unique or every. So all these settings look good. Let's just hit done and this conversion action will be saved. Let's click on agree and continue. So we can go to the next screen where we will have the option to use Google Ads conversion IDs and the other stuff. We are, since we are using Google Ads conversion tracking, we need the conversion ID and the conversion label for this event. Let's just head over to Google Tag Manager container so we can actually create a tag that will fire on this custom view item event and send this data back to the Google Ads account. So let's just create new. But before creating that, we need to make sure that we actually have a conversion linker properly firing on the website. So let's just hit all tags and under the Google Ads conversion tracking, we are going to look for conversion linker. This conversion linker does not usually require any kind of integration. So we can just simply rename it to Google Ads conversion linker. This is basically required to make sure that this tag fires on all the pages of the website. And this is also responsible for cross domain tracking, which is not covered in this video. So now let's just create a tag that is going to fire on only on the custom view item event. So let's create new. And since we want this trigger to exactly match this event, so let's just copy the name of this event and select a custom event for this one. Let's rename it to custom event and custom view item. Now this is the trigger and each time this trigger will happen, we want to make sure that we are sending a Google Ads conversion tracking event. So let's just select Google Ads conversion tracking and we can paste the conversion ID label that we have copied from the Google Ads tag and go back to the Google Tag Manager container and paste the conversion ID. The other thing we need is the conversion label. So let's just also copy the conversion label and in our Google Tag Manager, we can add the conversion label too. We also need the conversion value. You can see that on your data layer, we do have the e-commerce.items.price so we can access the value right there. So let's just hit plus to create a new data layer variable. Data layer variables are essentially going to look into this e-commerce object and get the values that we need. So let's just create a data layer variable for e-commerce.items.0.price. If anything is an object, for example, uh, items is an object. To go inside an object, we use the dot notation and go inside a list, which is denoted by the square bracket. We use a dot notation. And since the array can have multiple items and we are trying to access the first item, we are going to use the zero notation for this one. If you want to learn more about the data layer, you can click on the video in the description to find more. So now we have the price. Let's rename this variable to data layer variable and whatever the name of the variable is and let's hit save. We also need the transaction ID. However, the transaction ID does not exist for this event, so we can skip that. And the currency code, we have it in under e-commerce.currency. So let's create another data layer variable for this one by hitting new sign. And we can select the data layer variable and we can create e-commerce.currency. Let's rename the variable to dlv e-commerce.currency and hit save. Since we do have the items array in this e-commerce event, so we can also send product level details and instead of sending custom field, we can just select data layer and we don't have any other details for. So let's just save this tag to make sure that everything is saved. Let's save Google ads view item. Let's also add conversion tracking for CD and hit save. Now we need to make sure that this tag is properly firing on the website. However, before testing this, let's just go back to the Google ads and hit done. So this conversion action has been added on our Google ads account. So let's verify under the other section, we have this account and this currently says inactive. So we need to troubleshoot it and make sure this is properly working fine. So on our Google tag manager container, let's hit preview to connect our website with the debug window again, and then visit the product page to make sure that the tag is properly fired. And now we are successfully tracking view item event on our Google Ads account and we need to make sure that all the changes that we have made on Google Tag Manager has been published so they are not in the draft mode anymore. So let's just do that. GS view item. And now we can go over to the Google Ads account to see how we can assign this conversion action that we have created for view item to any of the campaigns that we want. So on your Google Ads account, your information will be verified on our Google Ads account in three to six hours. And now we need to make sure that this event is available for all the campaigns that we want to use. If you want to assign any of these campaigns, this conversion action, you can go to any of the campaign that you have on Google Ads account. For this purpose, let's just select the first campaign that we find. 
In order to add this conversion action on your Google Ads campaign, you can head over to the campaign sections under campaign and on any of the campaign, just go to the settings section of that campaign. And if you will scroll down, you will find an option for additional settings and under additional settings, we do have the option for goals and you can use a specific campaign goals and then you can select any of the conversion action that we have created right now. Right now we have the conversion action, which is under the other section. So let's just hit save and this will import all the other scam section events. And if you will hover over it, you can see that we have view item event, no recent conversion instead of inactive. Once you hit save, now you are tracking the view item event as a conversion action on your Shopify campaigns. If you want to do the same thing, however, with the add to cart event, you need to make sure that you are properly watching this video and keep learning and happy tracking.